and it is officially time to start so welcome guys welcome to budapest it is 9 pm um hungarian time of course and let me show you my face so uh, so welcome so tonight it's uh, it's a bit of an un unusual tour for me because it's not actually a tour you might see some amazing sights but i'm not gonna tell you all the, the the history behind them i'm gonna tell you about why i'm here and my experience as a medical tourist uh, coming for um dental surgery in uh, in uh, in hungary so uh, i know it's probably not of interest for for most of you but you know when i um when I first took the decision to come and have an implant here, I wished I had seen some videos like this with an honest um, review or an honest ex experience because I didn't know what to expect and I was actually quite scared. People tried to, to scare me off. So that's why I wanted to do this, uh, this little live and, uh, let's, go. and uh, let's go. So you've got the chat, feel free to use it as usual, probably even more than usual because it's very uh, an informal uh, chat tonight. And um, this is the beautiful parliament, by the way. So this is uh, neo-gothic. It is the same style, um, architectural style as the, uh, the parliament in London. Hi, Luan. Welcome, Lethargy, and welcome everyone that just joined. So um, uh, I'm here. I've been here probably. I've been trying to count. I think it's my. It's probably my sixth time here, because. Um, because I've, uh, I've got a Hungarian implant. Uh, that was not the plan. Originally, would you believe, I wanted to go to Bucharest <laughs> for the dentist. Uh, but um, it, I didn't make a mistake. I know a lot of people confuse the two, uh, the two cities. That was not my case. Uh, I was looking for a Romanian dentist and I ended up here instead. Um, to tell you how that happened, it actually started ages ago. One of... Um, one of my best friends was uh, Romanian and um, uh, one day I had uh, a dentist that made a mess in my, uh, in my mouth, a uh, 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 UK um, NHS dentist. What happened is that I, um, yeah, beautiful architecture, um, and the guy on his horse is a, is a count. Um, I mean, uh, I didn't say any naughty words, I mean he's a, he's a, he's a count, like the, the title. I never know how to tell the difference between the, the, the C word and the nobility title. So he was, uh, he was a count, not, uh, not anything bad. <laughs> and um, uh, so like Dracula, you know, <laughs> not, uh, like, not, not like the female uh, genitalia. Anyway, so back to, back to my teeth. Um, so yeah, I, what happened is one night I got a bit, uh, let's say, tipsy. And I fell off the bus. <laughs> I literally kissed the pavement. And the, uh, the next morning, I had a bit of an abscess in next to one of my tooth. And I thought, okay, I've got an abscess. I've got to go to the dentist, right? So I booked an appointment with a dentist, but uh, you know, in the UK, it can take ages. So by the time I actually went to the dentist, my abscess was well gone. But I thought, you know what? I've got an appointment, so I, sh I should go now. So I went, to, I went to see her and I told her I had an abscess that is now gone and she's like, oh yeah, I can see, um, I can actually see the scarring of, uh, of an abscess um, and I was like, yeah, but anyway, it's, it's, it's all gone and I did tell her I had a fall, she was like, no, that, that wouldn't cause an abscess and that tooth next to the abscess, I had a feeling, an expensive feeling um, you know, one of those ceramic ones, they cost about like, well, I had it done in France, so like 500 euros. And she's like, oh, I'm going to have to destroy that one to see you might have some root canal uh, infection or whatever. So I was like, oh, OK, then, you know, and she destroyed that expensive feeling to find out I had nothing. So she was like, oh, I'm sorry, actually, you're fine. You've got nothing. And um, I was like, oh crap, because now I need to do the, I need to, I need to redo the, the feeling, right? And um, that actually, it just, it's a mistake, you know, everyone makes mistakes, but it cost me like 500 euros because I went back to France because she could have, um, she could have made me a, one of those black metal fillings uh, uh, on the NHS, but I didn't want a black, you know, thing. And at that point, one of my best friends that was Romanian told me, oh, you should go to Romania. We've got some amazing dentists and, uh, and they're very cheap. 
And one of my colleagues was also Romanian and she said exactly, exactly the same. Um, so I was like, okay, but how would I find a, a, a dentist that speaks English in Romania? And my friend was like, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you my dentist or I'll come with you, uh, you know. Uh, sadly, my, my friend has, uh, has passed away, he's no, he's no longer with us. Um, he died in some very mysterious uh, circumstances. That's actually why I went to Romania in September, because I wanted to meet his sister. Eight years later, I, I still... Um, I still wanted some uh, answers, you know, I didn't get any really, I got more questions, but anyway. So, I, um, a, a couple of years later, I actually broke one of my uh, big tooth. I thought those lights are taking forever. Um, oh, you dentist wants to make a mess as well, Janie. You can still get white filling on the NHS, yeah, but they, they have to pay for them. Well, because uh, um, I'm not, uh, you know, you, you can only get some free treatment if you are um, getting some governmental helps and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I could have had it done in the UK, but it was, uh, it was uh, um, as expensive as in France. And to be honest, after that, I didn't really trust her anymore. Um, so, yeah, so two years later, so I had the filling done in France and two years later, I broke one of my big tooth at the back. Don't ask me how. I don't know how. Uh, probably during my sleep, because I'm actually a, a grinder. I, uh, I grind my teeth at night, and um, that's why I'm here, because I, I wanted to redo a new um, uh, night guard, you know, to stop, uh, to protect myself from, uh, from myself. And, um, and, uh, and uh, I actually went, I have a friend that is a dentist in London, but she's way out of my league. She's private and very expensive. And, and she told me I had to get it um, extracted and I needed an implant. Um, I didn't get a proper coat because I knew she was going to be way too expensive for me anyway. And she did not want to do the extraction because she doesn't mind treating her friends, but she doesn't want to be uh, pulling off their teeth because it can be a tricky job. You know, you don't want to do that to your friends. And um, uh, then I was like, okay, don't worry, I'll get it done with the... Um, because you can actually go to the dentist for free in London Bridge if you if you're brave enough, you can go to the students in um, in the guys' hospital. They have a, a, a dental clinic with students, and they can do the job for you for free, very quickly, much quicker than waiting for an appointment at the uh, at the NHS. And um, and I ended up going to see another dentist for the extraction, but he couldn't do it. And he was like, oh, should I refer you to the NHS? And I was like, no, 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 it's going to take months. Don't, don't refer me. And, uh, and I, actually, uh, I was actually coming to, um, to, uh, to Budapest on a holiday two, two, uh, two weeks later. And at that point, I remembered my friend that was telling me, oh, you should go to Romania. But by that time, he, he, he had died. So I didn't have anyone that could point me into the direction of a good dentist in Romania. And we, when you start Googling dentist in, uh, in Bucharest, well, you end up with a lot of ads for dentist in Budapest. Because I didn't realize at the time, but uh, Budapest is a massive uh, uh, capital for medical tourism in terms of dental tourism. And what a coincidence. I was actually coming here with my sister on a weekend away anyway little pause in our story because we've got um, uh, uh, an interesting uh, little um, memorial here. Let me get my torch out because it's going to be a bit dark. I said I'm not going to tell you any history but I need to show you those anyway. So those are the, the shoes on the, the Danube. There are 60 of them. They are um, art. It is to, uh, well, to remember through the, through the Holocaust, a lot of the, um, the, the Jewish community here, they had been uh, lined up by the, by the river. Um, they were shot. But before to do that, they removed their shoes because shoes were very valuable at the time. So, uh, um, and you can see the style is the shoes from the, from the 40s. Um, so it is uh, a lovely little memorial. It's not that old. I think it's in 2005 that they've uh, created them. So yeah, very, very moving. 
anyway let's get back to uh, to the dentist so I was uh, I was really scared at the time because um, everyone was like oh no you're not gonna go to to have su surgery abroad um, and uh, <laughs> there was that would have been like 2016 some of you might remember I know we've got a lot of the British audience tonight um, you might remember the show embarrassing bodies well you know I used to watch the show and, ah! I've just stepped in a major puddle. Oh crap. I've got only one pair of shoes, so that's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> oopsie. Oh well, that's okay. Tomorrow night I'll be wearing flip flops anyway in Dubai. Um, I'm just gonna be cold in the morning. Anyway, so yeah, I, uh, you know, in that show, some of you might remember. So for of you that for some of you that are not from the UK, Embarrassing Body was a show on Channel 4 where people would come to see some doctors, they'll have those weird conditions, or very unusual conditions sometimes. You know what, actually, it is because of the show Embarrassing Bodies that I realized myself that I was a grinder at night. Because there was this boy coming to show the doctors his teeth that were getting smaller and smaller and he could not understand why. And, uh, and I was like, God, this is me. My teeth are getting smaller. Um, there's not enough light here, but I can show you in a moment. When you know, I can, sh I can show you I've got one side much smaller than the other. So yeah, and in that show, they show you a lot of horrible, um, bad surgery. You know, people that go to Thailand to have fake boobs, or people that go to uh, uh, Turkey to have air implants. And um, what's happening? Let's see. I don't know what's happening, but... I don't know if that's a, a wedding or a, a race or what are they what are they excited about I don't know why are they racing on the Danube oh well <laughs> a little bit of action so yeah anyway on that show they show you those horrible surgery abroad that went wrong and um, I didn't want it to happen to me you know even my friend that was a dentist, she was like, don't go, don't go. They might have some special uh, staphylococcus, you know. Um, and um, a soccer game, oh, maybe. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Hold on, bear with me. I'm going to try to avoid the, to avoid the puddles. Right. I'm going to be walking very close to the edge, but that's just because I want to keep my feet as dry as I can. Um, hopefully, I will survive. So yeah, so I was really scared because of that show, but I was coming to Budapest anyway. So you know what? I actually went to the dentist. I was, I was here with my sister on a, on, a, on a weekend and I actually knocked at the door. I wasn't booked or anything. I just knocked at the clinic and I was like, hey, I might be a future client. Can I just come and take a look? <laughs> and that was just so awkward. Like, what was I looking for? You know, did I think there were gonna be some rats in the clinic or what? So I, I took a little look and I was like, okay thank you bye that was just very awkward by the way it made me feel bit better because at least i knew where i was gonna come you know and when you do come to uh, when you do come to budapest you see some um, there's a lot of dentists and they're probably not all as great as mine you see those um i call them sandwich men but i don't know if that's the term you know those guys with uh, an advert on both sides of them and they're walking around so you see some sandwich men for for dentists you know uh, it is such a big um industry um so anyway then i contacted so the the, the hungarian clinic they have a, a clinic in london as well staffed with the same doctors but you've got two different prices so you've got the prices in london or the prices um Oh, did you, see, did you see any bats in the sky? No. Well, I doubt it, but maybe, maybe. It is possible. I didn't notice any. Um, uh -oh, hold on, I'm just trying to avoid the water again. This is the, the Buddha castle on the other side. So Budapest is two used to be di two different uh, cities. So we are in Pest at the moment and Buda is on the other side of the river. And that is the Crane Bridge. The Crane Bridge is, um, 
it's the first, uh, the, it was the first uh, stone bridge in, uh, in Buda and Pest. And at the base of the bridge, they've got some lions. Apparently, they've been copied from the, um, uh, the Trafalgar Square lions. Anyway, I think I'm almost saved from, from the water. Right. So, the, uh, so yeah, the, uh, I, I booked an appointment and I actually had the extraction done in London with the, with the Hungarians. And, and then I had, to, uh, I had to come for the implant, but you, you need to wait a few months anyway between the, the extraction and the implant. And um, what I didn't know when I was looking at prices is that I did not have enough bone. So I needed bone graft in my jaw. Apparently it's quite common in the upper jaw. So the graft is actually from a cow. And that's a thousand pounds, even in Budapest. In the UK, it would have been pig, so it's no better. And uh, I don't even know how much it would have cost in total in, in the UK, but I think in total it would have been like 3K. Um, so I've got, uh, I came, I was meant, I came only for the, yeah, a okay, cool. Well, um, you've got, uh, you, you got animal. I think they probably even did it at some point with, uh, well, cadaver bones, uh, but at the moment here it's cow, so that's, uh, if it has to be animal, then I prefer a cow than a pig. And um, I was meant to come only for the bone graft, then wait another four months for the, the scarring and then place the implant, and then uh, the crown, another uh, few months later. So you do have to come quite a few times, but the, the flight tickets are very cheap from, um, from London to, uh, to Budapest. Usually I can fly for 20 quid. Not today because, um, well, I, I left it a bit late and, uh, and I had only one time in the morning that I, that I could choose, but yeah. And, uh, and the, the dentist, well, my dentist, has, uh, I'm talking about mine because you could have a very different experience with another one. I'm not here to promote anyone, but if anyone wanted to know which one, I could uh, let you know privately. Uh, I actually have a friend that had a bad experience with another one. Um, they targeted the wrong tooth, uh, but they, they went out of business. So don't worry, they don't exist anymore. Anyway, so the dentist could come and pick you up at the airport if you wanted to for free. I don't do that, I make my own way there because one day um, I'm the type of person that is at the airport like two hours ahead, you know, even if it's a, uh, an internal flight or, you know, in, in Europe, I, I'm, I'm early, you know. And the uh, pickup guy did not want to depart because the dentist was in my flight, so he wanted to drop us both at the same time. And the dentist was still busy, so I was waiting, waiting for the dentist, and we ended up arriving very last minute. Um, and uh, I don't like that. So now I make my own way anyway to the airport. It's not, uh, it's not far. Up, let me cross over. Up. Thank you. So yeah, I was coming, uh, I came with a friend only for the bone graft and I'm in the middle of the surgery and the dentist is like, okay, it's looking fairly good. Would you like me to put the implant as well? I'm like, what? Are you, are you asking me if I want to skip four months? And uh, he's like, yeah, basically, yeah. And I'm like, well, you're the dog, you decide. And he's like, no, no, you decide. And you know, I'm in the middle of surgery, I'm all numb and I'm like, okay, what are the risks? And he's like, well, uh, bone infection, minor sinus infection. And I was like, no, you decide, you decide, you're the doctor. And, uh, and eventually he was like, yeah, okay, let's go for it. So he's put the, uh, the implant with the bone graft. So I skipped, uh, I skipped a few months, but I was really scared. And um, then, uh, he, uh, then the, that, was, that was fine. But then he wanted me to take antibiotics and I don't do antibiotics when I don't have an infection. Uh, so I was like, no, why should I take them? And he was like, no, no, believe me, you need to. And I was like, what's going to happen if I don't take them? Oh, he's like, sinus infection, bone infection. <laughs> okay, then. So I pretended to take them and uh, came back the next day before to fly back home. Well, I did actually go home. I went to Prague. But, and then he's like, did you take the antibiotics? Yeah, yeah, sure. He's like, you didn't take them, did you? 
I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, show me the box. And because I had my full bag ready to leave, I couldn't say oh, I've left them at the hotel or anything. So obviously I showed him the box and it was full. So he was not impressed. Um, and uh, I didn't take them. But anyway, we, we, we should. And, uh, and that, was, that was absolutely fine. So then a few months later, I came back to, to put the crown. But what I did sign up for, and that's something I'm guessing a lot of the dentists here would do, is that it is guaranteed for life as long as I get it checked with them every year. So I could get it checked in London with them. That's what I did through COVID because I couldn't come here. Uh, but if I get it checked in London, I have to pay. So uh, it's, not, it's not much, you pay for the, the x-ray. So it used to be 50, but I think it went up to 70. And if I come here, they check it for free. So that's actually quite good. You get a full check every year for free. Um, but bear in mind, you'd have to pay at least maybe 40 pounds for the flight. But, um, and often I get a free clean as well. What I do is I, I ask, I often have a bit of tartar between my front teeth at the back, just a little bit. So I'm like, oh, can you just clean here, just there? But you know, those dentists, when they start cleaning, they cannot stop. So usually they clean everything for free. Uh, it worked uh, today again. And uh, that's actually a good saving because doing it in London would be very expensive. And um, so, yeah, so that's why I've been coming pretty much, uh, pretty much every year uh, ever since. And that's been a great, great opportunity for me to go and explore the countries next door as well, because most of the time I don't want to come only to Budapest. So I, uh, once I went to Zagreb, another time I went to Prague and Austria. Um, and uh, once I went to, uh, where did I go? Oh, I went to uh, uh, Slovakia actually with my dad. And um, so yeah, usually I try to explore a few uh, destinations uh, next, to, next to here. You have a dental plan and you get two free checkup and two hygiene visits a year. So how much do you pay for that journey? So um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't even know how um, how much that should cost. But um, the uh, I enjoy having it for free anyway. <laughs> Today I also had a new um, a new. Uh, um, night guard so I sleep with one of those plastic bits in my mouth to, to protect uh, uh, to protect um, 15 a month okay so that's still yeah that's still a budget out of the full year and even the night guard it cost 50 50 pounds here you can pay with British pounds you don't have to pay with Hungarian for it well at least with my dentist and uh, uh, I don't know how much it cost in the UK, but to give you an idea, my dad in France is also a, a grinder. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> if we had known, maybe I would have uh, uh, checked myself earlier. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. Okay, let me show you. It's very bright here. See this side? They are much, uh, much shorter than here. It's because I've been grinding them. They all see. They are, they're all. Uh, they all cut off, basically. That's me through my sleep. Hungarian forits, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's not spelled like this, uh, uh, Leonie, but yeah, it's um, um, forint. So yeah, so Hungary is part of the EU, but it's not part of Schengen. Uh, so you cannot move. Uh, f I mean, you need a passport to go in and out. Um, Hungary has some very uh, uh, strict um, uh, immigration uh, uh, policies. They have, I shouldn't say that, well, why not? They've been inviting all the racists from Europe. They've been inviting the French uh, racists. There's actually a little bit of, a little community of uh, French racists here. Um, you know, there are some... Uh, there's a bit of a... I'm glad that the market is still open because it's meant to close at nine. Um, yeah, so basically, let's not go too far into details, but there are some people that believe they are like ultra-Catholics. They believe that Western Europe has been invaded by Islam, especially Belgium, France and Germany. And uh, the, 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 the government here, 
they've been inviting everyone that is basically just a racist. And the, the government, the, I think his name is Victor Obran, I think his name is, is literally said, oh, we will take any of the real immigrants the French or the Germans that are missing their values. Um, and that, that actually worked. Sadly, I've watched some documentaries about them, some crazy racist French people that leave everything they've got in France to move here just because they want to be surrounded by white Christians. It's crazy. But anyway, uh, why did we go into that? Uh, anyway, so that's... Um, a lovely, uh, a lovely. Oh yeah, because we talked about the money. So yeah, EU? we are in the uh, we are in the EU, uh, but not in Schengen, and we're not using the the euro here. We are using the foreign, and it's uh, it's it's. Uh, I think 400, 400 for foreign is one dollar. So the prices can seem quite uh, quite a lot because you have to deal with thousands, you know, in your pockets. Was that all, Candy? Yes, Linda. Yes, and we have a lot of, uh, is that chimney cakes? I can try to show you the chimney cakes. They're quite uh, typical of um, Hungary. Um, we're very lucky because the market is still on, but the music is off. Because when I came earlier, there was some Christmas music, and, and you might know the, um, on YouTube, I'm kind of uh, restricted in, term, in terms of uh, what music I can, uh, I can have in the background. Roberta, yeah, well, the France as well, but you know, we did have some terrible um, um, terrorist attacks uh, a few years back, and and those people. So I actually love listening to interviews of racists because it's crazy, but they're mixing everything. They're mixing, they're, they're mixing um, safety and on race and 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 and, and terrorism and, and religion and they just it just they don't make much sense but yeah so uh some of them have moved here so they can feel safe because yeah it's just it's just very ridiculous but and one of the so the 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 the, the prime minister that i mentioned earlier he's got some of his um men that speak French actually so they can uh, uh, they can uh, convince uh, that population I don't think I don't think we're talking about thousands I think it's a few a few dozen a year maybe that that move here uh, uh, for those reasons but yeah would would want to send ours as well but hungary might not be big enough oh you want to send you racist as well well yeah it's a good idea to export them yes <laughs> yeah luckily i mean it's not a major problem in france but we we do have a few uh, extremes yeah anyway i'd like to find some of those chimney cakes where are they i've seen some earlier but they might have closed So to come back to the implant, it has now been, I think it was in 2016, so it's been a while, it's always been fine. And if anything, they are so careful about their reputation because they want me to, 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 to be happy and, and maybe refer some of my friends. I actually did refer a uh, couple of friends. So, you know, they do, um, I've got, oh, there we go, here are the chimneys. Oh no, that's pork. Where are the chimneys? I've seen some earlier. Um, so yeah, whenever, you know, they do, uh, they, they do a lot of extra, you know, to make you happy too, because they have to rely on their reputation even more than a normal dentist. For example, once in London, I didn't pay at all because, oh, that was sweet, because they made me wait in the snow. It was through COVID, you know, so they were limited on, on how many people they could have in their um, waiting room. And I, and I actually came very early, so, so it's my fault. Um, so I waited in the snow for a little while and then I didn't pay. They were like, oh, because we made you wait in the snow. <laughs> well, in that case, I would always come early if I get a free ride. So, yeah, they're always very, um, you know, they, they go the extra mile to, to, to make you happy because uh, they literally rely on, on, on reputation and on, on getting people over to, um, to have their dental services. So, uh, overall, I'm, I'm very happy and I would definitely uh, uh, do it again if I... Um, if, yes, chimneys, there we go. I knew I had seen some somewhere. 
So those are very um, uh, iconic um, uh, Hungarian chimney cakes. So they, um, you see them, uh, you see them everywhere here. I had one myself when I went to, um, the first time I came here with my sister, we went to the lake, Siofok, and we bought one there. Probably not good for your bum bum, probably quite a few calories in there, but that's uh, lovely. So you can have different flavor on top of the, the crispy sugar on top, they, put, uh, they can put different flavor. What is the condon projected on the tower? So it's not a tower, it is the basilica, the San Stefan Basilica. And uh, I don't know what to be f I don't know what's happening in five hours. <laughs> um, San Stefan in uh, in Hungarian it's Istvan. Itzvan. He was the first um, King Hidvans Itzvan was the first king to bring Catholicism um, here. Apparently, there's a his fist, um, his his mummified fist is uh, is still inside. I have been inside with my dad when but I didn't remember seeing his fist, but I know it's there somewhere. <laughs> so we'll... F oh, there are minutes. Okay, I thought they were hours. What's happening in four minutes? Then it'll be... No, it doesn't make sense. Well, we'll find out. Let's, let's try to hang around here for another four minutes. Is mommy, mommy five fist? Yeah, his hand. Yeah. I never know how to say the difference between the long is and the short is. So the feast, the big dinner party with friends, or the feast um, for for feasting people. <laughs> that don't know, I don't know how to pronounce the difference. <laughs> yeah, oh, there might be. Well, I've not seen anything more impressive than the snowflakes today. But yeah, there might be some more coming up. Let's see. Three minutes and forty-two seconds. I said it perfectly. Good. Good. Uh, Mike, I don't know what I said. I don't want to say it again. That was a mistake. <laughs> well, what else can you do with a fist? <laughs> I mean, you can punch people. Boxing. <laughs> Yeah, but I would be surprised that the light show starts after the... Oh, it's snowing! This is snow, guys! This is not rain! It's actually snowing! Hold on, let me... Yeah, it's snowing! I'm pretty sure it's snowing! And, uh, um, yeah, I would be surprised that the light show would start after the market is meant to be closed. So, bum bum! <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, it's half melted snow, but it's not rain. Because I was going to get the umbrella out, but it's not actually that wet. Oh, we've got the both, uh, Tish. We've got the both. But I'm pretty sure I can feel some little snowflakes. Dry rain. What is that? Right, we've got two minutes, so let's go and take a look at what we've got on this side here and we can come back. Can you hear the music? I hope not. There's a bit of music in the background. Can you hear anything? Because I don't want to have any uh, copyright issues. It's very... Uh, it's not much, but... It's like the people who are very... Cool. One minute and 34 seconds. Oh, you can hear it. Um, well, hopefully it's not copyrighted. We'll soon find out. Oh, you've seen a company that did the snow before. Well, let's see. We've got one minute. So that could be, that could be. You can go, uh, you can go uh, uh, on top of the, the basilica, by the way. I'm pretty sure I have been with my dad. I've been here a few times, so I'm mixing all the trips uh, in my memories, but I'm pretty sure that was with my dad. Because I came 
once with my sister, once with my friend Julia, once with my dad, once alone, and I think another time alone, because then no one, no one wanted to come with me anymore. Because <laughs> every, every year I'm like, hey, do you want to go to Budapest? <laughs> Can we see the Christmas tree? Yes. Uh, we've got 28 seconds, but let me show you the tree. It's, uh, it's here. There we go. So there is the tree. Cute. Let's see, 12, 11. So. I don't know what's going to happen, but people seem to be waiting, so something will. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow. Amo la Navidad. Yo pensaba que iba a ser algo un poco más navideño, ¿no? Esto es lo que coño es. Eso es un Mirad, regalos. Hostia, qué puta mierda. That's nice. Que no, que es una. Y con Jesucristo. No, voy a hacer, la voy a hacer de frente porque tienes que tener una cara de mierda. Well, they've stopped the music, so that's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Good thing that you guys put in the condom, because I thought it was four hours. I would have just uh, given up. <laughs> that's why it's good to have you with me. <laughs> wow. Group field trip, yeah. <laughs> I still think it's snowing a little. Did they want to see the feast? <laughs> let's let's move on from the feast. <laughs> Well, I could. No, I don't have time. I have to. I have to. I was gonna say I could come early morning and find a feast, but no, I need to get to the airport in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if it might be every hour. Oh, I didn't realize that's my home. That's my tower bridge on my Big Ben. Firework. That's cool because I don't actually like fireworks, actual fireworks, because they scare me. So firework on the, on the light show is better. I'm not recognizing every single uh, country. What country is that? Or capital? Australia. Oh. And what mountain is that? You guys are good. You're better than me. <laughs> Ooh, a temple. Yes, it probably was Mount Fuji. You're right, Tish. India now. It's beautiful.
We're very lucky to have got here. Perfect timing. Uh, are we back to reality? Yes, we are, I think. That's probably the end. I oh, know, maybe not. Oh no, wow. Oh, that might be the end. Yeah. You got some, comment some commentary in Spanish as well in the background, <laughs> if you prefer. Cool, now I think that's it. Oh, that was amazing. Lucky us. Cool, yeah. Applause, applause. I cannot really do that because I've got only one hand, but yeah. Cool, guys, that's going to be uh, the end of the tour. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions before we go. If not, thank you very much for, uh, for coming tonight. Let me show you my, let me put my hat the right way because I had flipped it around because it was windy. I didn't want it to fly in the river. There we go. So uh, thank you for joining, guys. Um, if you want to see a bit more of my travels on the first, I think it's Friday, I'm taking you to Abu Dhabi. So we'll have a little uh, sunset walk on the, the Cornish beach. Um, and uh, uh, next week, Catania, Sicily. I don't know what day that is. I think it's Wednesday. So do, um, if you don't follow me yet, you might want to uh, subscribe just to make sure you don't miss out on the fun next time. And uh, if any of you drop me a little tip on, on PayPal or, or buy me a coffee, uh, you, oops, sorry, <laughs> you're very much uh, appreciated. Um, I cannot see them live, so I cannot thank you, thank you live, but you're very much appreciated. Oh, thank you, Janie. Thank you very much. Anyway, I don't see any more questions, so I'm going to let you go. Have a good evening, a good morning, whatever time it is for you. And, uh, and I'll see you soon in the Emirates. Bye-bye.